Hi there, I'm Michael Ralph. Today we're going to be doing the photosynthesis floating leaf disc assay. You're going to need everything you see right here, including soap, baking soda, and syringes. The first thing we're going to need to do is mix up our assay solution. Our assay solution should be 1% sodium bicarbonate or baking soda by mass with trace amounts of soap present. The soap is going to help get the solution inside our leaf discs so this is the quantity that needs to be adjusted depending on how well you're getting your leaf discs to sink. Once you've mixed up your solution, it's time to grab a syringe. Your syringe will break apart and you're going to need to punch out some leaf discs from whatever choice of leaf you're using. Fresh spinach is usually a great choice but you'll want something that grows quickly so that it has high photosynthetic activity. Once you've punched out some leaf discs, we'll put those discs in the bottom of our syringe. Doing more discs in each syringe will give you a more robust data set. So punch out multiple leaf discs and put them into the same syringe. Once we have as many as we need, we're going to close the syringe. And we're going to push out as much of the air as we can get without crushing our leaf discs. So get that disc to lay flat, and then get as much of the air out as you can get. Next up, it's time to load our syringe. So draw up a few milliliters of our solution, and you should see right now our leaf disc is floating inside the syringe. We're about to change that. Seal the top of your syringe with your finger and draw back on the plunger. You want to create a pretty strong vacuum up at the top, but don't pull so hard that you break your plunger and then shake it around. Make sure you get it nice and agitated. This should force all of the gas out of the leaf and get our solution into those spaces inside the disc. a couple of flicks, you should see our disc starting to sink. When you've done it right, you'll see all of your leaf discs sinking down at the bottom. Once they've sunk, you'll draw up some more solution until you have about four, five, even six centimeters of distance from the bottom to the top. Give yourself plenty of room. And now this syringe is ready to collect data. From here, it can be placed in any number of conditions. You can change the wavelengths of light, the intensity of the light, the temperature, the pH. Really the possibilities are endless and time how long it takes for your discs to finally rise again back to the top. Of course this happens because oxygen is produced during photosynthesis and as that oxygen builds within the leaf tissue, eventually it will become buoyant again and they'll float back to the top. Make sure you have a nice, intense light source to place above your syringes, otherwise the time it takes for these discs to rise will be too long to be practical in a lab period. Good luck.